What's up? Art here. Another video. Do some legs. What I love about this bar, this bar, it's very safe for individuals like myself. It helps me uh, keep my back straight. And the center of gravity is just where it's supposed to be. With this being said, today's workout, the full leg workout. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy it. I'm very excited about today's workout. And uh, I'm gonna push, push hard, not heavy, because heavy weight, it's not always good for you, you know. Too much, uh, too much weight uh, and uh, too hard, heavy uh, force on your joints and the ligaments. And um, remember guys, when you uh, age, aging process, it's not, uh, it's not uh, helping your joints and ligaments. In the long run, you can make muscle stronger uh, and uh, you can work your endurance, muscle endurance, but you can't make your joints any younger, so. This is good weight, feels good. Again, the best thing about this bar is you can actually, when you lose your center gravity and the bar, it pushes you forward, have to pretty much put too much tension on your lower back in order to compensate for the weight. Pushing you forward, you just grab those handles right here and you push it upward a little bit and you go under the bar just up back straight close with your hips forward and you can catch the rhythm and get back into it without compromising your lower back so with this being said let's hit it So, instead of putting a bunch of weight, this bar itself is uh, 70, 65 pounds. So, and uh, for somebody who never tried safety bar, or yoke bar, however you want to call it, uh, the technique, uh, it's a little bit different. But uh, in my case, uh, it's huge, huge improvement on form and uh, depth of the squat, especially if you want to do it the proper squat instead of doing quarter squats as we speak, which is, in my book, it's not a squat at all. As you can see, some guys they do it, but quarter squats and loaded, loaded, with a bunch of weight, just ego lifting. It's not, uh, it's not, it doesn't take you a long way. It doesn't take you to the goal. 
So always put maximum effort to what your goal is. In my case, is to perform the whole spectrum uh, leg workout today. The time is now, I'm here, and there's no excuses. So there's no shortage for success. And to be successful, guys, you have to do the work. You have to outwork every, every, everybody there is. And most, most and first of all, you have to outwork yourself. So let's, let's hear it. this workout today, legs, it's uh, my genetics are that uh, in general, I do not have to work legs too much, too often. They naturally uh, grow if I train them once per month. But there's uh, other parts that are, that are lagging, like bicep and chest in size compared to my legs. Legs grow. Uh, it comes naturally for me, but um, uh, the main uh, workouts I usually do is definitely try to uh, isolate the muscle groups in my quad and hit hamstring from the angle that uh, I feel uh, it works for me. And usually it's by contracting and I feel like I can squeeze, squeeze that muscle very hard till, uh, till actually it feels like it's gonna, it's cramps, it cramps on me. Uh, but uh, uh, main, main reason why I do squat, because uh, as you get older, you know, seniors, you know, for instance, I mean, balance is a huge issue. So all you guys out there, you know, hitting 70, 80 years old, 90, you guys have to work with your balance and, you know, lack of strength over an aging process is not helping. So it's crucial in age of 40 plus to train your legs and uh, learn how to uh, work properly because the injury happens like that. So especially on squats, deadlifts or any type of weightlifting, you do free weights. And machines, machines work, but uh, it assists you with the lift too much, so you're never gonna be able to learn the functionality and uh, and fully develop your your uh, natural strength. So, with that being said, let's hit it. ever wonder how come you know a lot of power lifters are strongmen lifting weights they're out of breath because when it comes to big compound movements it requires tremendous amount of blood flow to the muscle uh, and to the body in order to to perform uh, full range of motion like in squats or deadlift, the full body engaged, and uh, it's required a huge amount of oxygen. It's, it's required, so usually what you do to keep, to keep uh, focus and stay awake, when you load it up, use ammonia salt, 
And I don't care if you heavy hitter or you always heavy hitter if you PR. So regardless, your max rep, personal record, whatever it is, it's the heaviest load you ever lifted. You just have to stay safe, do not pass out. Always perform uh, with uh, safety gear. Today, just like I said, I'm I'm not feeling I'm not feeling like it's important for me to lift heavy like I used to. So I don't even use no belt, nothing. I just want to work the whole spectrum of my muscle, work on my breathing, you know. And uh, part of my life, it's meditation and, and the lifestyle I'm trying to incorporate uh, uh, fitness and the healthy diet and healthy mindset, you know, and just be successful as a human being. Um, so for all of you out there on the same page, you know, fitness enthusiasts and, and people who love to challenge themselves and improve and become the best version of themselves, you guys definitely you know, keep pushing and, and definitely keep working. It's become, I became much, much healthier being over 40 and uh, start running and, and start pushing myself with the heavy weight like crazy, but pushing more towards endurance and, and uh, basically healthy lifestyle. So with this being said, guys, I'm gonna hit it one more time, do five reps. All right, let's hit it.